Hey guys, I found this old camera in my basement, and I found a time machine. I'm going to use it to go back to 1985 to watch Back to the Future in theaters. That'll be awesome! Project Almanac is the latest found footage movie from Platinum Dunes and MTV Studios. Now, now, hold on. Before you go off and assume this is a bad film, bear with me. It's actually not that bad. Alright, so Project Almanac is a time travel movie about a teenager who finds out his dad was trying to build a time machine about 10 years ago. Which is awesome. He finds it in his basement, him and his friends get together, and they're all kind of nerdy kids, and they figure out how to build it, and eventually they do. And at first, it's a lot of fun. They go back in time, they change stuff they did in the past, they make their lives back in high school better, you know, one of them gets back at the bullies that were teasing her. But then, of course, bad stuff starts happening. Ripple effects. Remember that scene in Back to the Future Part 2 where Doc Brown is explaining to Marty why Hill Valley's all of a sudden different? Yeah, it's that stuff. Now, there are a couple problems with the time travel. Yeah, obviously, there always is. In this one, it's the whole, how are they not meeting up with their past versions of themselves when they go back in time. By that I mean, how are they not running into the versions of themselves when they go back in time a second time to a place they already went back in time to? And I know that sentence may have been a little confusing, but hey, it's a time travel movie. What do you expect, really? Other than that, the acting is generally pretty good. I could see all these kids going on to be in other stuff. Yeah, the script could have been a little more tightly written, I guess. They could have, maybe if they'd gone through it again, fixed some of the time travel issues. But, those are some of the big problems, and honestly, it's a, still a fun movie to watch. The humor is good, the adventure is fun, and the suspense later on when the main character David is trying to fix everything, butterfly effect style essentially, is pretty good. Yeah, it does borrow a lot from other time travel movies. Looper, Back to the Future, Butterfly Effect, but they reference all of them, so it's like, they're kind of saying, we know you've seen these movies, but you know what? We like these movies too, so we're going to borrow from them. And you know what? You're not ripping it off, so I'm okay with that. It's a solid adventure film, and it's a January movie that's not bad. Take advantage of that. Surprisingly, Platinum Dunes did a good job here. Is it a phenomenal movie? No, but it's Platinum Dunes. So hey, a decent movie. I just still want to give them an award for that. So yeah. Good job to this movie. I would give it 3.5 stars. Check it out. It's a fun adventure sci-fi film. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what's your favorite found footage movie. And then tune in next time for some more awesome movie reviews from Sean the Film Slayer. Thanks for watching.